Hi everyone, I'm Rob, and I'm here to bring to you another excellent collaboration between the Knights of Horror and On the Fence Movie Reviews to bring to you another episode of Slashback Friday. Now in this episode of Slashback Friday, I'm going to review a movie that didn't come out too long ago. It came out in 2017. It's directed by David Bruckner. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Because if I'm not, I do apologize. Uh, the movie is The Ritual. Now, uh, as I always try to do, I try not to give too much of the plot. And I try not to spoil anything for you. I'm going to do my best once again. So, uh, The Ritual follows this group of friends, this college group of friends that... Uh, you know that right. You know they're in a bar. They're talking about the trip that I. You know that they're gonna plan to go on together, and um, you know each one of them has their own kind of place they want to go. And I. So let me just start off right there. I think they do a great job from you know that point and, and kind of before the craziness happens, because it's a scary movie. So craziness does happen. Um, they do a good job of that point of kind of getting you invested with these friends, these characters. You, I feel like there's enough of them where each one of them has their own kind of characteristic that you can relate to at least one of the one of the the people in the group. So I did like that because I found sorry I found myself um, you know being like oh hey you know I I know a friend like that or I got a friend like that and I liked it. So it gets you more invested with these with these characters when you can relate to them. Um, as the, as the story kind of goes on, you know, you get more of a sense of who is the leader in the group, who's kind of the follower, who, you know, who's the sidekick kind of like that. So, um, and they, you know, the way they razz each other, you are like, Hey, I, I do that with my friends too, or at least maybe me and my friends do it, um, to each other. It's all good fun. Right. Anyways. So, uh, you know, they decide to go on this trip and they're, they're hiking through, it's kind of like the plains, but a foresty kind of area, nothing too crazy. Um, then something happens where they're like, you know, they kind of have to cut the trip short and the best way to get to where they're supposed to be going is through the forest. That's kind of where I'm going to stop as far as giving you too much details into the plot, because again, I don't want to spoil anything if you have not seen the ritual. So I'll say this. The things I enjoyed, I like the 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 way they bond you with the characters, the way they the characters interact with each other. You really do feel like this is a group of friends that have been friends for a while, and they've kind of grown up together. And just the way they talk to each other, the way they razz each other, how they relate to each other, um, they again they do a really good job of getting you invested with at the very least one of the characters you can kind of relate to at least one of these characters so i like that now once they get into the forest stuff starts to happen um and in the forest i will say this the way that you sound because if you've ever been in a forest or in a park you hear trees you know rustling and the way they use the wind the way they use sound uh, as far as, you, you know, just kind of the quietness of a forest and when the wind picks up and there's actually, um, you know, some rain part in here and just the way they use that, it, it it's really, they do a really good job because it, it gets you listening to certain things. You're listening for something to happen, but you know, you're also picking up the sounds of a forest and, and you may think a forest sounds quiet or calm. But there's a lot of stuff going on in a forest. Anyways, I did enjoy that. Now, the way this movie shot in the forest, I, I really enjoyed it because you think, you know, you're outside in, you know, the, the wide open. Well, not so much wide open, but, you know, trees and stuff. But you're outside. But they do a really good job of making it feel claustrophobic almost like you're trapped in this like it's a cage of trees and it it's interesting and i liked it and it was i thought it was really cool and unique the way they did it i'm sure they've done it in other movies but just just the way certain shots were set up i enjoyed it and i thought it looked cool the way certain they they use certain push shots and the tree and your and your your you know your eye line of sight and stuff, I think they play around with that really well, and I liked it. The way they make you 
think something is there when it's possibly not or that something's not there and it possibly is, they do a really good job at that. Just visually, this movie looks good. Um, it looks really crisp and it, it's kind of, it's not like, you know, this, this, uh, it, it's definitely not like this expensive budget type of movie where you're like, oh, everything looks, you know, you can this and this and that, but just the way it looks, the for you feel like you're in the forest with these characters. And that's what kind of scares you a little bit when it comes to scary movies or, you know, thrillers or any kind of horror movies. If you can feel like you're in there with the character, it's a little, adds a little more scare factor to it. So I did enjoy that. I get some of the things I didn't like. It's not too many. Um, you know, I guess the the there are some typical scare, uh, kind of scary you know horror movie tropes in this movie that you know you kind of come to expect. Which you know, it's nothing too crazy where I'm gonna you know say don't watch the movie over. Um, another thing, things happen where it, it, I, it's kind of weird, but. I guess as the movie plays out, it makes a little more sense. But as you're watching the movie, you, I'm just like, oh, what, what's like, what's going on? But it didn't. Again, it didn't take me out of the movie. It just you gotta watch the whole movie, and it'll kind of make sense. It's a car going by. Anyways, um, so I, a couple of things. I'm you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know complain and say oh don't watch this movie because because of you know this thing or that thing. Overall, I think it's a really good movie. I think it's a good scary movie. Um, it's a very creepy movie. And I didn't want to get too, again, I didn't want to get too into it. But as you watch this, you will feel creeped out. Just expect that. You're, it has a creepy vibe. It's a very scary vibe. Once you get in the forest, stuff starts to roll. And you get a very, uh, like, trapped kind of feeling and I liked it. And I thought this was a really good movie. And I definitely think you should get off the fence and check the ritual out. Well, in saying all that, I hope you enjoyed this uh, review of the ritual. If you did, please hit that like button. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the Knights of Horror and On the Fence movie reviews. We truly do appreciate all the support you guys have given us. Uh, and in saying that, remember, if you ever need to take a shortcut, avoid forests.